Hey, Matt Allen here. Welcome back to Tactical Bassin. I'm just arriving down on the California Delta. Now, as most of you know, Bassmaster, every year, they put out their top 100 lakes. Most of us keep pretty close track of that. Uh, this year, Clear Lake was rated number three. That's where Tim and I both live. Delta, California Delta, rated number five. Berryessa nestled right between the two of those, rated number seven. That's phenomenal. I mean, we are so blessed to have fisheries of that caliber all around us. But granted, they're not really close by. Uh, you know, I left Clear Lake at four o'clock. It's seven now. I'm just getting down here to the Delta. It's a haul. Now, you might be wondering why I would drive from Lake Number Three past Lake Number Seven in order to get down here to the Delta Number Five. And there's a good reason for that. And that is the Senko. Yes, you heard me right, the Senko. I'm as shocked as you are. But if you guys have been following Tactical from the beginning, you might remember a really good friend of mine. His name is Matt Leverage. Matt and I have been friends a long time. When I get a call from Matt, I take it very seriously. The guy tends to stay off of social media, so not a lot of people know who he is, but he is a phenomenal angler. He is outstanding out here on the Delta. So a couple days ago, I get a call from Matt, and he says, hey, we're running through about $50 a day in Senkos out on the Delta. Are you interested? Of course I'm interested, right? There's no way I wouldn't be interested. 50 bucks a day? That means they are absolutely putting the hammer on these fish. So I ask the most important question, and that is, can I fill? He answers one word, absolutely. That was all I needed to know. Here we are three days later. I'm just getting to the Delta. It's about seven o'clock at night. I'm gonna go meet up with Matt. Tomorrow we're gonna go out on the Delta, see what it's about, see if we can chase these fish. You know, the Senko is, I don't know, it's, it's overrated and underrated, right? Everybody knows what it is. Everybody throws it and yet, very few people seem to know that you can truly target big fish with a Senko. So in that regard, it is underrated, especially in the larger six and seven inch sizes, such dynamite baits and a lot of people shy away from them. So anyway, I'm gonna meet up with Matt. We're gonna go out there tomorrow. Hopefully his bite is still rocking. We can just put the hammer on some fish. I have no idea what size is gonna be like, but hopefully we get to tie into a big one or two. I'm looking forward to it. Hope you guys are too. Tomorrow morning, California Delta. First thing, is gonna be the square bill crankbait. The square bill is a, a compact bait, fits that general bluegill profile where it's a short, stumpy bait, pretty round. More importantly, it moves very quickly, very erratic, something that bluegill do differently. This may be a better day than I think. The lake is starting to look pretty stacked. So, we're gonna run down Lake Cub. I don't know how well you guys can see, but basically, I've got a big point over on this side and an even larger point there on the left and then the dam down there in the background. And uh, I think I'm gonna focus around those first couple of big points, although I gotta admit this stuff is looking pretty darn good. But we're gonna start out down there. We're gonna focus on some of that stuff and see if we can find some fish on the little bit of structure that is in. 